Welcome, friends. Let's do a proof of sine of t, cosine t. It's equal to something. The question is, what does it equal to? Well, we can use complex exponentials to find an equivalent expression. That's a nice approach. So sine of t, we should remember that this is equivalent to something in exponential form. It's equal to e to the i t plus e to the negative i t, and then 2. And then we multiply this by the following, okay? e to the i t, and then minus e to the negative i t, and then we divide this by 2i. So this part is equivalent to cosine. So let's do that. Put that over here. This is cosine of t right here. So this exponential expression that you see is equivalent to sine of t, cosine of t. Okay, now we can work with this a little bit. <laughs> so you'll have the following. Notice that it, what we have in the numerator here, look at this for a second, right? Maybe you recognize this, but this is a, essentially difference of two squares, isn't it? It's something to the something plus something to the something multiplied by something to the something minus, right? So it's a difference of two squares in a pat here. It's like a minus b times uh, a plus b up here. Let me type this like this, okay? It fits into this pattern right here. So that means over here, we can write the following. e to the i t, and it's squared. And you can write mi uh, minus e to the negative i t. Yeah, and this is kind of like this way then, okay? Now, once you have it in this form, then it's 2 times 2i, which is 4i. And then you continue from here. So if you do the squaring using the rules of exponents, e to the 2i t minus, and then e to the, let's do it this way, i, and then this way, negative 2t, and then over 4i. Now, from the 4i part, let's put a 1 half out like this. We're going to make it look like a known expression. That's often the goal in math make it recognizable in some fashion. And then what you have is the following. e, so e raised to the, let's see, i, 2t, and then minus, minus, e raised to the i, and then negative 2t, and then divided by 2i now. Perhaps you recognize this expression, at least in the numerator of the fraction. This is equivalent to writing the following. I'll do that down below because it's a big expression, so it's going to be 1 half. Okay, brackets. So e to the 2i t is cosine of 2t plus i sine of 2t minus, within parentheses carefully, cosine of negative 2t plus i and then sine of negative 2t, see, divided by 2i. And then you continue, so it's going to be 1 half, and then we will have cosine of 2t will cancel with this other cosine of negative 2t because cosine functions are even. So hopefully you know that, since you're interested in math at this level, I can cancel this with this, right, because... Cosine of negative 2t is the same as cosine of 2t, and there's a negative that has to be distributed. So that means that part will go away. Now, what happens with the sine parts? Let's focus on those. First of all, remember this. We have i sine of 2t minus... Let's be a bit more careful with that part, okay? And then i sine of negative 2t. So, work through this. It's going to be i sine of 2t minus... Now, the sine function is odd, so... The negative goes out and multiplies to the negative on the outside. It's going to give you, therefore, a plus i sine of 2t, which is going to give us, therefore, 2i sine of 2t. Therefore, up here, the only thing left over will be 2i sine of 2t divided by 2i. Hey, but check it. Right, it's very nice because you see now this 2i cancels with this 2i. You see, it's all rigged. <laughs> this is 1 half, and then... Sine of 2t, that's it. That's what's left over as the expression for sine of t, cosine of 2t. Okay, so in other words, one way to view it is sine of t, cosine t equals 1 half sine of t. The other way is to multiply it by 2 and find that 2 sine t, sine t times cosine t equals sine of 2t. Remember the following, right? What is this proving? It's proving that this whole thing at the very beginning, this is equivalent to this. Right here, right? These things... Okay, let me not get confused now with all the boxes. So make this one green here, okay? So the two expressions in the red boxes are equivalent. They're interchangeable. What does that mean in a bit more visual fashion? It means that, look very carefully, look what happens. If you type sine of 2t and you graph it, it looks as shown here. If you graph 2 sine t, oops, try that again, and then cosine t, which at first looks different, right, when you look at it to the i, but when you graph them, look very carefully, ask yourself these questions, right? How many graphs do we see? Well, I know I just typed in two different expressions, 
But how many, say, distinct, unique graphs do we see? Graphs that do not clearly overlap. We don't, right? How many graphs do we see? We see one graph. In other words, it's telling us something important. It's telling us that 2 sine of t, cosine t, is interchangeable with sine of 2t for every t. These are identities. That's what it means, you see. Wherever you encounter sine of 2t, you can replace it with 2 sine t, cosine t. In other words, if you need it, you can, you know, work this way from here to here, make that replacement. But often, what's needed is you go from this expression to this expression. It's bi-directional, and the direction that you use depends on what is needed. I'll leave it at that. So if it's been helpful, interesting, leave a like.